can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. At chapter 7, shear forces and uh, normal forces, internal forces. Um, question 1 here shouldn't be uh, too challenging. Uh, as always, uh, doing a statics problems when we big given a big, a huge system, the best way to start is um, find the global equilibrium and solve as many forces on the external um, scale as much as possible. So we can find Na here, right? So we can use, I mean, sorry, use the, um, we can find Na by using the sum of the moments at B, this direction, right? We are equal to zero. So that's negative. Ai is going to a, a clock y direction, generating a clockwise direction, times 14 plus uh, 500 pounds times 8 feet, right, 4 and 4, yep, and minus 300 pounds uh, times, this is how many, 8 feet as well, equals to 0. Plug everything into your calculator. Let's see, this is uh, 16 divided by 4. This should be give you 100. 14.29 pounds. Right, pounds. And since we're doing shear force, so you know we're finding internal forces at point C and D. That's what the question is asking. We can get we can use this side of the equation. So C point to the left and um, D point to the right. So we can totally ignore the middle part, and so we don't really have to find the uh, x and y forces at B. So that will save us some time. So now uh, let's cut this um, up, right, and use the left side of the uh, point C to find the internal force. So I just draw a little beam, and uh, this is the normal force C, this is the shear force C, and this is the moments at C, right? Internally, here's uh, 500 pounds over here, and um, Na over here. Awesome. All right. So we can use some of the forces uh, in the x direction. That would give us zero. So uh, N C would give us zero, right? Because there's no other force going to the x direction in the system we just draw. So zero pound. And um, using the, some of the forces in the y direction going up is the positive. You give us zero. Uh, this way, VC is minus minus uh, 500 pounds plus uh, 1441, four, sorry, 114 uh, point three pounds, right? Pound three pounds. And so plug everything, it's zero, plug everything into your calculator, VC should give you 500 minus 150 um, that should be hmm that should be let's see 500 minus 114.3 should give you 385.7 pounds and this is VC, right? Going VC direction. Oh, wait. Minus plus, so equals negative. This should give you a negative number. And so it means VC is going back up. Um, but I think the shear force is always going to the uh, down direction and going this way. So. Let's leave it uh, negative as it is. Right. Let's leave it like this. And um, yeah, because we don't have to go back and change the direction. We just know what it is. It'd be fine. It doesn't, we don't have to do further calculations. Uh, 300 pounds over here. This is 2 feet. And then there's normal force, shear force. The uh, rotation, and that's it. So use some of the more, uh, forces in the x direction um, 
and C and D, sorry, should give you zero. And uh, and C, sorry, and the V D V D, the shear force at D, right? The shear force at D, that should give us um, what's going to the opposite direction, so it's negative 300 pounds. And uh, some of the moments at D, that would be um, 300 newtons times uh, two feet that give us the moments at D, right? Um, and this is the sum of the moments equals this system over here. MD should give you 600 feet uh, feet pounds foot pound, right? And that's it. That's uh, the whole thing for the equation. Let's write the given. Uh, Calculated force over here, 385.7, 385.7 385 pounds. Um, rotations, oh shoot, we didn't calculate the rotation. All right, so, my bad. Some of the moments, some of the moments at C to zero. So Na times, um, so C, so that's 10. And this is going into a negative direction, it's clockwise plus the 500 newtons times uh, 4 feet and this is going into a um, counterclock a direction and plus moment SC this whole thing should give us 0 so moment SC uh, should give you 500 times 4 minus uh, 1 one four three should give us eight hundred and fifty seven around eight hundred and fifty seven pounds eight hundred and fifty eight hundred and fifty seven pounds and um, normal force at D is zero shear force is negative three hundred newtons and um, Moment ID is 600 feet pounds. feet pounds. Oh yeah, negative 300 pounds, not newtons. All right, this is it for question. Uh, this is it for question one. Um, relatively simple question in the chapter seven. So I am. Um, hopefully, this was a help, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.